Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, Tennessee is considering legalizing hemp. Manufacturers use hemp in plastics, insulation, and paper, and health food lovers eat the seeds for protein. But only a few acres of the plant are actually grown in the U.S. because of its affiliation with marijuana. Now, State Senator Frank Nicely wants to bring it back to Tennessee. He's drafting a bill to legalize hemp here. Nicely says marijuana is a cousin of hemp like cornbread is a cousin of moonshine. Even George Washington and Thomas Jefferson grew it. He says the key to success is educating other lawmakers about the difference. Two former police officers fired for using excessive force are now suing the city of Chattanooga. Sean Emmer and Adam Cooley were both terminated last year after police said they used excessive force while taking an inmate into custody. Police Chief Bobby Dodd said it was one of the worst cases of excessive force he'd ever seen and that he wouldn't trust the officers to interact with the public. The two officers are seeking $500,000 in damages. They say Dodd's comments about them have prevented them from finding new jobs. Last month, a judge ordered the officers to be reinstated, a decision the city appealed. While the officers remain off the force for now, they are getting pay until the appeal is decided. At least eight children in East Tennessee have gotten sick while drinking raw milk. Some people believe drinking raw milk is healthier than drinking pasteurized milk, but in fact it's 150 times more likely to cause illness and can be life-threatening according to the Tennessee Department of Health. At least three of the recent illnesses here have been linked to E. coli bacteria in the milk. Officials say some adults may be able to tolerate bacteria found in raw milk, but children, older adults, and pregnant women can be put in serious danger. It turns out the Tennessee Aquarium misled the media about the death of Pete the Otter. Two months ago, Pete and another otter were transported to a temporary facility while a new exhibit is built. Pete died a few days after the move to the center in South Carolina. More than a week later, aquarium spokesman Tom Benson announced the new exhibit, and at the time he said both otters were being acclimated with four other otters that would be part of the new exhibit. Benson now says he knew of Pete's death at the time he made the announcement. He says the aquarium delayed the news while it investigated the death, but that no cause of death was determined. The other otters are now being cared for at the Chattanooga Arboretum and Nature Center. They should be back at the Tennessee Aquarium when the redesigned exhibit opens in late April. Finally, a North Georgia family is going to be on Family Feud. Josh Keefe and his wife Amber will appear on the show with his brother Michael and sisters Emily and Elizabeth. They auditioned with thousands of other families in Atlanta in June. Josh and his twin brother Michael now coach at Dalton High School. If you want to see how they did, you'll have to tune in. The episode airs on WDSI on November 20th at 5 p.m. And there's plenty of hope for them. A Rossville man also won big on a game show Friday night. 33-year-old Adam Wilson appeared on Wheel of Fortune. He came home with close to $60,000 in cash and prizes, including a $10,000 trip to the Caribbean. Turning to weather today will be sunny with a high near 67 degrees. The low tonight will be around 44. That's today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.